Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. And yesterday I bought this, a Sabrent USB 3.0 to SATA IDE hard drive adapter. Specifically, this is the USB DS12 model. And this was a purchase really long overdue. As I'm working with older and older machines, having something that can plug in and read IDE hard drives uh, required part of my kit. So I went on Amazon and I looked around and this one got some pretty good reviews. It was 30 Canadian dollars and it seems to be powered by USB 3.0 and I suspect another plug that goes into it for the IDE that requires uh, more juice. So I thought I would unbox it and then I've got a whole stack of hard drives off to the side here of all different types to test this out. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get in the box. I should make perfectly clear that this is not a sponsored video, that they did not send this to me, and that this was purchased with my own money. Okay, so... And then we have a bunch of papers and cards, having difficulty, blah blah blah. And a little book of work. If we run into trouble, we'll pull that out, but I don't think we will. So there's our uh, Molex connector and a four pin. And that looks like it goes in there. That's pretty straightforward. And then we've got a little itty bitty wall power supply that we plug in, obviously, to make sure that that is getting juice. There's the power connector there for SATA, IDE, and then two and a half inch IDE. This is supposed to be USB 3.0 and the color there would indicate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set all of this up and then we can start testing some drives. All right, so I have this hooked up to my X1 Nano because why not? And we've got all of our drives. So let's pick one and get started. So I've got a really old IDE drive here I don't even know if this still works, but we're going to find out what happens. So I'm going to plug in the power, and then I'm gonna take this connector and line it up like so. We are reading a 160 gig drive with all sorts of really, really old files on it. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Lo looks like it's working well. Let's try another drive that may or may not work and just get it out of the way. And this is actually from the, the old and very broken T42. Okay, we got that plugged in. Oh, that drive is not in good shape. Well, now I know that this drive is toast. I mean, it doesn't look very good on the bottom, but hey, now I know. We'll try this drive here. And this one I know works because I pulled it out of the machine not too long ago. Yep, and I can read all the files. Tickety-boo. Perfect. Here's a mechanical M SATA from an old laptop. This is actually from my uh, Acer before I upgraded it. All right, no issues there. Now, this drive hasn't been formatted. Just a little 16 gig stuff that on there. Green light is good. And there we go, new volume, 14.4 gigabytes. No trouble reading that. Let's throw out a curveball and see if it will detect the drive through this adapter, because that will be fun. I've actually got this adapter in reserve for any old school projects that absolutely one of these drives, I don't want to don't want to invest the money in an old IDE. That's a good sign. Yep, and it detects it no problem. So I know that this adapter card works and that works with it. So the last thing to quickly check, it is USB 3.0 obviously, but will it run on USB 2.0? I suspect that it will. I have my X220 running Linux Mint and we're just gonna turn this drive back on and see if it detects. I will note that these drives do take um, considerable spin-up time, so if you don't see that blue light blinking right away, don't panic. 
it can take up to about 30 seconds or sometimes a little longer. Okay, there's our blinking light. And it detects the volume. Perfect. So I can confirm two additional things. It will run off of USB 2.0. Obviously the transfer speed will be throttled and it runs in Linux. That's gonna get a strong recommendation from me for good value for money. It's small, it's compact. You plug it in, it works. It's, it's great. Uh, so if you do need one of these because you're starting out in computer repair, retro computing, or just need to do some simple data recovery and you don't want to pay a large premium price, then the Sabrent gets a uh, thumbs up from me as a good little piece of kit. And if you'd like one, I will leave some links in the description down below where you can pick up one for yourself. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this sort of content, I would encourage you to do the big four. Please like the video, share it, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you will be notified when I feature a kit like this on the channel. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.